our task as entrepreneurs, I see it that we create things that remind people of this beauty and truth and goodness that is inherent in life. Many people ask me why exactly this area is where we see Custodia emerging. Here is the answer. The sky is clear. We have the most beautiful sunrise witnessing simultaneously the top five mountains of Bali. Here you have Mount Agung, the biggest mountain in Bali with over 3,000 meters. Next to it you have Mount Batur. Then here you have Mount Bratan. Here behind these trees you have Mount Sangyang. And here, second highest mountain, Mount Batucado, behind these trees. All five of them, one, two, three, four, five, at the same time. With the sun rising. Is this enough of an answer? I like <laughs> sitting here, drinking my morning coconut editing the video and being greeted by this natural beauty like <laughs> no words entrepreneur for 11 years now created and built and founded all sorts of projects and products and spaces and I see it as our task our task as entrepreneurs I see it that we create things that remind people of this beauty and truth and goodness that is inherent in life. We tend to get lost in all this surface level desires and cheap meaningless stuff that crowds our lives and the big cities we are inhabiting and as beautiful as it would be if each and every one would regularly take a hike in an untouched forest like the one I have access to it's obviously not the case so it's our task as entrepreneurs to build things be it a physical product or a book or a yoga retreat or whatever it is that wants to be birthed out of our sacred work to instill this with the beauty, truth and goodness that is inherent in, in nature, in life itself so that people get reminded of this essential quality of life when I first unboxed my Fairphone and I dove into all the intricacies and I learned what went into building it and the unique philosophy of the company manufacturing it. Change is in your hands. This whole phone is modular. If your battery is damaged, you can just replace it. If your camera is damaged, you can just replace it. If your screen is damaged, you can just replace it. If your SD card reader is damaged, you can just replace it. And this is the blue version of the Fairphone, um, and the black and the original version. Here on the inside there is a strange white dot. 
But then I learned that these are the contours of the Democratic Republic of Congo, the country where the most damage is done to the natural ecosystem and to the people. By all these big global corporations who are sourcing the rare earth minerals needed for these tech devices. And Fairphone put the contours of this country inside of their phone just to remind us where the material is coming from and to make decisions in a more sustainable way that is more aligned with the thriving of all the parts of the system. And this is what for me is that the essence of entrepreneurship, I mean like quite literally the French term entreprendre is like means somebody who undertakes something, somebody who does something, who really takes on a challenge, who really builds something, like an endeavor, dedicates their whole hearts and souls and brains to an endeavor that is truly meaningful to them. And this is what we need more of in this world. People who are really going for things they believe in, who are putting the contours of the Democratic Republic of Congo on their phones, who are building their products, their services, their coaching programs, their retreats, their books, their whatever it is, with this spirit. This for me is not only an entrepreneur, but a custodianpreneur. A custodian is somebody who makes decisions with all its implications in mind, who Sees, it, sees himself or herself as a steward of the more beautiful world, as a protector, as a caretaker of the sacred. And if you combine this with this entrepreneurial attitude, not just doing it on a small scale, doing the right thing, eating locally, just like conducting a good life, but feeling the urge to build something where the beauty, truth and goodness is installed, that is inherent, in life itself and that so many people have forgotten about. Like if you combine these two, you have a custodianpreneur, a very rare species, a very small subset of entrepreneurs currently. But this is something that will change. While the majority, 98, 99% of entrepreneurs on this planet are doing business in order to enrich themselves, in order to make a fortune, there is a small subset of change makers who are doing things differently. Entrepreneurial energy is very, very strong today. I had a beautiful business coaching with my friend Marcella. She's building great stuff to bring more conscious and loving relationships into the world. And I had a quick catch up meeting with Alistair. Um, we met nine years ago and had no contact over the past nine years, and he was still following my work. And then he sent me a message and let, said, Let's reconnect. He just helped building Cohere platform for co-living projects all around the world. Very nice too. S and uh, I have my dad around me, entrepreneur since 30 years, who's currently in the process of transitioning out of his IT company that he built and starting a beautiful uh, living project in, in, uh, in Europe, um, in the north of, uh, of Italy. So yeah, there's a lot of let's do things, let's 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 build things, let's let's bring something that we envision into reality. A lot of that is very present today. When you're on YouTube or Instagram or TikTok and you look for content about entrepreneurship, it's 
really this spiral dynamic stage orange materialistic hustle higher faster um, more spirit that actually is responsible for the state of the world we're living in right now by building our companies our brands our organizations with a narrow focus just on money on revenue we are causing harm left and right and still there's an advantage to that like this approach this old paradigm approach is super fast it's like okay idea bomb execution and companies like like Fairphone have a hard time competing against this approach because rethinking how you build your phone and choosing the most sustainable options and doing research first where your waste products go and uh, don't take shortcuts this is slow and costs a lot of money that's why for the 600 bucks I spent on the Fairphone I got a product that is less way less capable compared to a similar uh, regular smartphone so all these new paradigm companies new paradigm brands new paradigm organizations they f are faced with the challenge that they still need to compete in the old like paradigm marketplace that we have today with companies that like don't give a fuck about <laughs> about sustainability and about treating our planet nicely and so on so it takes a lot of determination and a lot of like being rested in your values grounded in your values really strong to be able to run this race with this kind of disadvantage but this is what the world needs more of i can tell you the amount of times over the past four years where my heart sends the path of the gift economy just offering my gifts like to the world without putting a fixed price tag to it be it in the form of books coachings retreats and so on like the amount of times i question this because it's actually pretty hard <laughs> in a world where you have bills to pay and where like money is still a very valuable resource to not be able to like calculate anything to predict anything because everything you offer is a gift and you don't know whether you will open your bank account and see an inflow of gifts or not like really stay on this path anyway has asked everything of me over the past four years and now i made the transition fully since a couple of months and it feels very good but i can tell you it was a long long path and it's so much easier to do regular business to not care about the environment to not care about the long-term thriving of your customers like the the easiest way of doing business of being an entrepreneur is to not give a fuck about all that but I don't want to go the easy way <laughs> I cannot go the easy way sometimes there's a voice inside my head that, tell, that tells me like Robert maybe here and there you can make compromises and you can really really make it easy for you like but no I'm incapable of doing that I always always choose the hard path that feels truly value aligned even though it's like yeah it's it's difficult to bring that into reality but I cannot do it differently Kita menulis. we write Kita menulis. he writes a letter Dia menulis surat. Going good. <laughs> here's, a, here's a thought that intrigues me a lot these days. Every time I open a coconut with this knife, I connect myself with the ingenuity of the human spirit if we like if our earliest ancestors like hundreds of thousands of years ago wouldn't have invented something like this where they took a stone 
and sharpened it so that this is able to cut like something so that you can eat it like a coconut without a knife it would be very difficult to open a coconut but with a knife it's a matter of seconds and this is like this is at the at the basis of entrepreneurship like these these uh, these cavemen these earliest ancestors who inv invented basic stone tools like this these were the first entrepreneurs and out of this resulted this and artificial intelligence and all the other crazy things that modern entrepreneurs invented but it all began with that like everything we see around ourselves that is not made by Mama Gaia, like every human-made thing around us was invented by an ingenious entrepreneur. Like the shirt I'm wearing, the camera into which I'm speaking, the house I'm living in, the toothbrush I'm brushing my teeth with, the glasses through which I'm looking out into the world, like all of it was once just an idea and it got turned into reality by an inventive entrepreneur. Like every time I ponder this, this gives me a profound sense of awe and wonder like how we really collectively created this world. And since we created this world like it is right now, we have the power to create it in a different way. Because the consciousness with which I invent something dictates the fate of this thing I invent and in return dictates my fate because I in return get influenced by what I invented. This is what ontological design calls the circular feedback loop between our inner worlds and the external world that we build, that we design, that we envision and that we as entrepreneurs create. And then in return we get influenced by it again and then out of that we build something new and we get influenced by this again i love seeing how much entrepreneurial energy is currently flowing into the creation of new paradigm spaces look at this samaya resort they didn't even open in 2025 they will start and they already have 65,000 followers people are incredibly excited in seeing their journey the same is true here in bali almost every month a new kind of bamboo nature eco resort retreat space is opening so things are taking off things are really really taking off right now and it's exciting to be part of all that to envision and to design those new paradigm spaces and still with every project i see out there there are certain components that don't fully resonate with me so the only sensible thing is to do it yourself like my inner perfectionist my inner like 100 percent optimizer for nothing less than full value alignment always sees some things that are not in full resonance so i can only do it myself yeah <laughs> i love this entrepreneurial journey i loved it from the first moment where I, in 2013, started my first online business, a, bro a blog about my raw vegan diet, and created my first ebook for 37 bucks and sold that to, to a handful of people until now and everything else that was in between. I love this entrepreneurial journey. The, the art of turning ideas into reality. This is, for me, what is at the essence. And yeah, my value compass that drives all that is, has changed profoundly. All right, friends, that's it for today. It was a beautiful day, very productive day. I enjoyed this entrepreneurial journey uh, that we dove into today a lot. And before we close off, I have a surprise for you. I'm gonna show you something. This is... Da -da 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 -da. This is the Custodiapreneurs. Integral entrepreneurship for a more beautiful world my brand new group coaching program because over the past months i've been supporting beautiful souls like marcella on their impact entrepreneurship journey like bringing their ideas their visions into into reality and as a matter of fact there's only so much time in the day 
and I'm only able to serve three, four, five one-on-one -on -one clients um, at the same time. And I strongly feel that there's so much inside that needs to go out and so much service that wants to be practiced. And um, that's why I'm offering this group container in order to be able to serve more people with this, with this valuable uh, gifts that uh, want to be shared. I'm on this journey since 11 years now. And nine years ago, I started doing business coaching. And this is like really many things have changed over the past years, but my love for entrepreneurship and my love for business coaching, not. But the form and the values behind it have transformed a lot. So if you feel a calling to work with me and join our powerful cohort of custodianpreneurs, you find all the information in the description. Looking forward to read the application. Thank you for our shared time today. See you tomorrow.